Article 7. <laughs> Motions reads, move that the town appropriate $5.3 million to pay for costs of design, constructing, and originally equipping a new senior center on the 2.6 acre parcel of town-owned land known as the Hooker School Lot located behind the current senior center and that it, to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 73 of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the trip town therefore. Provided, however, that the vote taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds or notes authorized for this purpose from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so-called. Any premium received by the town upon the sale of bonds or notes approved by this vote, less than any su such premium applied to the payment of the cost of insurance of such bonds or notes may be applied to the payment of costs approved by this vote in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 20 of the General Laws, thereby reducing the amount authorized to be borrowed to pay such costs by a like amount. Do I have a motion? Moved, it, moved and seconded. I would now... The current senior center requires extensive renovations and upgrades. The town's growing senior population feels they would be best served with a new senior center located in the open lot behind the current Hooker School. Now ask the petitioners to speak to their article. May I introduce Jane Nevin Smith? Oh, I was going to do that. Hi, I'm Jane Nevin Smith, 16 Sunrise Drive. I'm also the chairman of the Senior Center Building Committee. The reason for the change of the amount required for this project is as follows. Originally, the Senior Center Building Committee was working with $3,500,000, which is a number we were given in January of 2016 by the municipal Build the Hadley Municipal Building Committee in response to our program needs. The Senior Center Building Committee has spent many hours assessing programming needs and visiting six recently built senior centers. We were aware that their costs were higher than what the original Municipal Building Committee's estimate was, but we waited to talk with the OPM, that's the owner's project manager required by law for all Massachusetts municipal building projects. When we received the OPM's estimate one week ago, it was for $7,100,000, more than twice the amount we had been working with. The Senior Center Building Committee felt this was not a fiscally responsible number for a town that has many other needs. It also is much higher than the cost for the centers that we had paid visits to. The committee has chosen a halfway position, $5,300,000. We are committed to working with an architect and building a center our town will be proud of that will fit this budget while still meeting the needs of our growing senior population. The new center will also serve the town as an additional emergency shelter, a need supported by the fire chief. The question before us tonight is not whether we need a new building. That has already been established and recommended by the Select Board and the Town Municipal Building Committee. The question tonight is will this town meeting financially support its growing senior population with a new building? That population is approaching one third of the town's population and will continue to grow until 2030. A building designated for seniors where they can congregate with their peers, continue lifelong learning, maintain their health and independence, have nutritious meals, seek services such as fuel assistance, food stamps, exercise classes, support in their caregiving roles, or deal with declining health. 
These are things that are specific to this age group. It is time to move forward and build this senior center and support our seniors. At this time, I'll introduce Susan Trevia. Suzanne Travisana. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Moderator, Select Board members, and um, respected community members. Uh, I've been the Council on Aging Director here in Hadley for a little over three and a half years, and I've come to really have uh, tremendous respect for my seniors after about a year when I felt I knew the culture and um, the people. I went to them and I said, let's have an open forum. I want to know what you want for your center. What kind of programming do you like? What kind of, what, what do you want to see in the future? What do you want to learn about? What are some of the issues you're facing so I can bring that programming to you? And what, what came out of that vision planning with them was an overwhelming um, big ask for an all one story senior center that has air conditioning and proper heating without stairs and an elevator that keeps people from accessing the services that they need. We have, we, we are living in a school that was no longer fit for your children and you built them a new school and feel like it's okay for your seniors. It's not. It's not healthy. It's falling apart. They can't get into it. And the people who need it the most have the hardest time getting in there. You got a zero, a uh, 0.03 COLA increase on your uh, Social Security for the coming year, but your Medicaid, Medicare premiums are going up. And also, let me tell you, that the elder elders are trying to stay in their homes on a fixed income while the dollar buys them less. We're the ones that help them stay in their homes. And the ones that have the hardest time staying in their homes are the ones that can't get into the building. See how this all doesn't make sense? We're not helping them to age healthy in their own community. And I'm hearing the school kids don't have air conditioning. That's just not right. I'm hearing don't kick it down the can anymore, even though committees have said the building isn't really worth saving and it's not suiting its purpose. It's not a safe building. There's mold issues. There's chipped, cracked flooring with asbestos in it. There's leaks. It, come on. $51 is what every senior gets allocated in our budget. Our budget's a little over $100,000. We've got a much bigger population moving in here, and they are going to need more and more. We, have, we are that front door for them when they need things. We have to be there for them, and they need to be, get, be able to get in there. Don't kick this down the can while the interest rates are low and while the seniors are here to say this is what we want. Do the right thing. I think Michael, Mike, we what some of the things that we do that you don't that you probably don't see a lot of is that we work in really close relationship with the emergency responders because we know certain things about certain people that they might not have access to in emergencies. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm sure Mike can speak to some of the work that we do together. Um, and he has asked if he could speak for us. Thank you, Suzanne. Uh, I, I'm acting both as the fire chief and as a resident 52 Bay Road in Hadley. Um, 
I work very closely with Suzanne Travisano, Elsie Waskevitz, and a lot of the ladies over there that you see in the green shirts. Uh, I'll be going to visit them for Christmas over at Green Leaves. Anyways, I believe in my professional opinion that the second most important building in your community, besides the fire station, is the senior center. I work extremely closely with them. Uh, the police department works extremely close with them. I was on the phone with Suzanne last week because an elder fell and we were very concerned an extended time frame. We work very closely together. We come out once a year and we cook a spaghetti supper for the seniors. It's hot, it's old, like she said, stuff's falling apart and it's extremely hard even for me to get down the stairs. So I can't imagine how hard it is for folks that are, for, who, are, or who are aging. So I hope that you'll support this as well. I fully support it and it's time. Our buildings are a mess right now and we really need this for our seniors as well. The population is enormous. Part of the safer grant that I applied for stated exactly right now, I believe it's 32% of our community population is seniors and it is growing continuously. So please support this article. Thank you. I'm a golden ager, so it's a little difficult getting up here. I use those facilities. What upsets me is the process they used. I'm going to read you a couple of things. This is their handout sheet initially starting. The timing coincides with the end of debt service payment on the safety complex in elementary school. So this project alone will not raise your taxes. Secondly, they professed 3.5 all along. That's attested in the editorial from the Gazette, a neutral party. In there it states 3.5. I said for two months, I can't understand how you can build this building for 3.5 million. One week ago they came back, it says no, it's 7.1 million. So now, they're coming to town meeting, pulling a figure out of the sky, 5.3 million. What are we getting for that 5.3 million? They don't have any designs or anything. This is one article, I support the Senior Center and I wanna see it built. But, we have to bring this back in the spring and let them get all their ducks in order, present the designs in the phase, and tell us exactly what we're gonna get for 3.5 million. And that's the only fair way as taxpayers to address this evening. So I'll try and address some of that discrepancy for you. Um, we have been, um, all along using the figure that we had gotten um, from the Municipal Building Committee. We had come in May and asked um, for priority for when the OPM, the Owner's Project Manager, required in Massachusetts building for any building that would be spending over $1.5 million um, to give us some professional help in looking at this whole thing. Um, and in the meantime, we were out visiting six other senior centers um, in the area, putting likes and dislikes and kind of um, seeing if they lined up with our program needs, which is the first step that you take in designing a building. Um, we do this, we do that, we need a room for an outreach worker, we need a room for a nurse, we need a room, you know, you build, you build the, the design for the for the building around the needs that you provide and the spaces and the sizes that go into those program needs. So um, that's the information we had to run with. Um, we were shocked um, actually when the OPM came back last Tuesday with 7.1. But what didn't jive to us was that there were other senior centers we had just visited. Um, one of the models, and we do have um, a model comp, okay, that was put together by us just to show the kind of layout that we want that was modeled after um, some of the aspects of the Westfield Senior Center, which was just built um, and opened last October. 
and it was um, for it was 20,000 square feet, and they built it for 7.1 million dollars. So that figure didn't ring to us. What we did do was say, okay, let's take these OPM square footage costs and see how much room we can actually get at that square footage cost, which we still thought was, was kind of escalated. They came back with a, a probable uh, square footage cost of $560 per square foot. We still think that's a little elevated, but we're using it to assess how much building that can get us at that square footage cost. And we came up with, if using, using the lowest number that they gave us, we can get at least a 7,000 square foot senior center plus the other 30% that goes towards quarters, mechanical spaces, and uh, storage which, yes, will take some planning. Some rooms will have to do double duty, but because we will have adequate heating and cooling, we can schedule them all year round, night and day, for double use. We're willing to make the revisions that are necessary to be fiscally responsible and not be asking for Taj Mahal. We need a functional, one floor senior center that will serve the people of, of Hadley in the future. And we know that we can do that. We're confident in doing that. That's what we've been asked to do. And if you support this tonight, then we can look for the, 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 the designer that can help us put that into a really comprehensive package that everybody can be really proud of. But you can't keep picking it down the road because it will cost more. And the seniors are waiting for this. And they deserve it. So yes, the OPM came back late. We were responsive. We're trying to be responsible insofar as accounting for our, our, our ask to everybody else in regards to all the other needs that this town needs. Our Susan Woods, 43 West Street. I've known Jane Nevin Smith for over 30 years. And no matter what kind of business she's run, and there have been multiple, and she's been in real estate and in construction work for decades, I have full faith and confidence in Jane Nevin Smith to bring any project in on budget, on time, and to get the townspeople the best bang for our buck. Thank you. You'll have to excuse me, I'm just getting over pneumonia. Uh, my name is D. Thomas Touche. I live at 115 West Street. I'm a Vietnam vet, a disabled Vietnam vet. I'm a former paramedic. I've uh, solicited the VA hospital in Leeds. But by the way, I've, I've lived in Hadley for almost 30 years. I've solicited the VA hospital in Leeds at least 15 times over the last 30 years with absolutely no assistance whatsoever. None. And I've served this country. I went to the senior center a couple of years ago. I received more help from Suzanne and Nelsie at the Senior Center that I have in many, many, many years from the government. This Senior Center needs to be built. The building that they have now is atrocious. It is not accessible for quite a few seniors. And in my opinion, I think we need to have this Senior Center and I'd like to remind all of you younger folks that you are going to be seniors one day. And you're going to need this help. Thank you. Thank you, Morris, 45 Roosevelt Street. 
Um, I support the Senior Center and the seniors. I'm looking forward to using the new Senior Center myself in about 12 years. Um, but it seems to me that we are about to make a mistake that we've made several times in the past by not building an adequate facility because we're scared of the cost. We didn't put air conditioning in the elementary school, now we have to do it. We didn't build big enough bays in the fire station, now we have to rebuild it. I'm afraid we're not building a senior center that the seniors really need because we're scared of the cost. And I would like to find a way to actually build a seven and a half million dollar senior center because that is what we need. So I know you were caught off guard with this figure, but I think if we take a little extra time, we can make the senior center happen. The facilities to meet the need, not based on the cost. All right, Ed did give it's 10 Meadow Street, and I've been in that senior center when they first started it out. And I can't see how these people who are elderly get down them stairs, and they get an elevator, or I don't know what that thing is, or rickshaws in Hong Kong are safe for that thing. <laughs> and we can all laugh, but you know, if somebody gets stuck in there, they're going to be calling Mikey, and Mike to the rescue. And uh, they deserve this. They've been paying taxes all their lives in this town, most of the people that want it. I can use it because I'm over 60. I'm not going to say how much over 60 I am. But uh, I don't think it's outrageous for what they're asking for, a livable place and asbestos free. Some place that, you know, if they have limited access that, you know, we've seen people that you're 18 and all of a sudden you open up your eyes and you're 60 years old or better and you're not as mobile as you are. So let's get them a place where they don't have to jump over different obstacles to get in that place. Sometimes that's on one level, and that's some place that I can enjoy in future years. Thank you. Edward Matuska, 116 Stockbridge Street, but just because I'm an anal retentive type of person, this article is for $5.3 million, and it's a proposition two and a half override, correct? Yes. Um, the other thing, if, is this 2.6 acre parcel big enough to, and is it zoned properly, does it have all the electrical uh, hookups that are needed, the sewer hookups, the water potential, was, is there, are we going to have to go and before the Zoning Board of Appeals and move something over here, or move something over there, or is the proposed building going to actually fit on this site? If someone could answer that, I'd appreciate I, it. I can talk about that. Hi, I'm Billy Story. I live on 47 Meadowbrook Drive, and I am on the Senior Senate Building Committee and also on the COA Board. Uh, first, uh, just to speak to that last issue, uh, we've done a very thorough vetting job on the suitability of that lot for a senior center of the type that we propose. Uh, even the uh, OPM group had no problem at all fitting a building like we wanted, like we wanted at their $7.1 million price on that lot. And while uh, so I, I don't think there's any, any unresolved problem or nothing major likely to come up there because it's been studied quite thoroughly. Beyond that, I'd just like to say I don't think there's a single person who's ever gone in the senior center who doesn't know that we need a new building. And I haven't heard anybody tonight say that we don't need a new building. I think the only thing I've heard at all of a negative type is that we ought to wait and study it a little more or that we ought to go for the whole seven million rather than try to do it for 5.3. And it was our judgment that the seniors have waited and waited and waited for their time to come. And finally, we think it's here. The room is full of seniors tonight who really want this. And we felt that it was fiscally the responsible thing to do to not go for 7.1 million, but to cut it back a little bit and promise to deliver a building that'll suit your needs for 5.3 million. 
as one lady said, if uh, Jane is, Nevin Smith is involved in something that she promises she'll do it for five million, 5.3 million, she'll fulfill her promise. And the rest of us are of the same breed. Uh, we're committed to making this work. If it has to be a little bit smaller, maybe not as much smaller as you think, but a little bit smaller, we'll be sure to make it so that it could be expanded if, if uh, we rethink it later. But uh, we're quite sure that we can build a senior center for that price, and we promise you that we will make it happen at that price, and we don't want to wait and go back and study it some more and wait for another time. We think this is the right time. Interest rates are low. Uh, construction costs are going up rapidly. And no matter what we do tonight, it's going to cost more if we wait six months or, or another year before we do it. So I urge you not to make us wait, not to go back and study the issue some more, not to tell us to think bigger than we're thinking, but please support us tonight. And we need two thirds of you present to vote for us because it's an override article and I strongly urge you to let us move forward at last. The seniors who never asked for anything, hardly, and haven't got much either, frankly. Let us go forward at this point in time. Thank you. Tim Lindley. Tim Lindley. Tim, Hi, you all in Hi, I'm Tim Nyhart, um, building commissioner in town, also on the municipal building committee. Uh, certainly, this town has some great needs with all of our buildings, and this is going to be one of many that, uh, that we're going to have to deal with. Um, with regard to the cost, uh, the Municipal Building Committee is very concerned about the cost. Uh, the first cost that you've been told about, the 3.5, was presented by one member. It was not uh, voted by us. The, it is unfortunate that we have been pushed in this town to, with regard to all these buildings. And it is reality. Unfortunately, our whole thought process under the Municipal Building Committee was to take one thing at a time, and that was the um, public safety. And then we were going to go into the other uh, needs, and especially the seniors. That building is a piece of junk right now. It has not been maintained. We all know that. They do need to go someplace else. But at our last committee, we did, we were very concerned about the price and we did stress upon the uh, seniors that we felt that they should go forward with the 7.1 only because it would be also, also very nice if we, they came back and said, hey, thank you for voting for the 7.1 and we can do it for a little bit less. We hope that they can do it for 5.3. We would like to see a little bit more. We would have liked to see the 7.1. Um, we are, we did vote to support them all the way through this process. And I hope for their sake that they can do it for 5.3. The issue with these prices, the first as a guesstimate, the one that we have now is an estimate. And it's only an estimate based on the mere fact that they've come up with a projected square footage and we have, and as professionals, we have to go forward and look at, like in a seven year process of how long this is going to take to actually become uh, reality. So, um, again, Municipal Building Committee strongly supports going forward with new buildings. One of the great things that the forefathers did for us, if you all really think about all the buildings, they were all built at the same time. They're all over 100 years old now. For a small community, as Hadley was, I'm amazed that these people back then could go forward and put the money that they did in quite a number of buildings. And we should be doing the same thing in the future. 
I, I worry about what we did with the elementary school and the senior center and the um, public safety. We shortchanged them. I don't want to be shortchanged on for the seniors because it's a tight site and we're going to have a problem um, doing any expansion later on after we get through all the other buildings that we're going to have to deal with. Thank you. John, and then sir. John Mitchkowski on Fort Sunrise Drive. I do support this uh, senior uh, center, but I think, like they said, they did come up short. They didn't have the resources we did at professional estimators and cost analysis. But what I looked at is this uh, description and breakdown from the OPM. I, I definitely don't support their $5 million project. I would support their $7.1 million project because when they took their needs, the needs equal square foot and the square foot equal cost. They will not get what they really want. And I suggest that that figure be changed from the $5 million to $7.1. It's needed. It, it, there's just too much cost in rebuilding what they have now. And I urge the people in this t town meeting room to support this uh, vote. Thank you. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. I am excited about the whole idea of the revitalization of Hadley's main crossroads. The senior center is a part of that, the library is a part of that, and I hope all the people who are here for this article will stick around and vote for that one. I also, back in, my goodness, 1979 and 80, I worked with older people. And I want to honor their memory tonight, as well as my upcoming 60th birthday in less than two months, by voting yes tonight. Yeah. You're first. I'd like to move the question. Gene Baxter, Stockwell Road. Second. I have a motion and a second. Do you have anything new, sir? I would just like to, uh, once again, uh, D. Thomas Touche from 115 West Street. I would like to move the question. I think she just did that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, one, two punch. So, we have. Uh, I'd like to make a comment if I could. You can. If she, we have a motion in a second, so we have to we have to vote on that, or we can discuss the fact of her moving the question. No, we got to vote on it first. Right. So we have to we have to vote on her motion to move the question. All in favor of moving the question, signal with your red card. Opposed. Motion is moved. Now we will vote on. The original motion. Okay, so the original motion, would you like me to read it again? Okay, the motion says, move that the town appropriate 5.3 million to pay costs of design, constructing, and origi originally equipping a new senior center on 2.6 acre parcel of town-owned land known as Hooker School, lot located behind the current senior center and that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, is authorized to borrow set amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 73 of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore, provided, however, that the vote taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds and notes authorized for this purpose from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half so-called. Any premium received by the town upon the sale of bonds or notes approved by this vote, less than any such premium applied to the payment of costs of insurance of such bonds or notes may be applied to the payment of costs approved by this vote in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 20 of the General Laws thereby reducing the amount authorized to borrow to pay such costs by a like amount. All in favor of that motion, signify with your red card, please. Opposed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I have seven opposes. So Article 8, one abstention, two, three abstentions. Okay, so three abstentions, seven opposed. That leaves us 279-4. So the motion passes. I just want to thank all of the seniors who overcome great odds because I know you don't like to drive at night and I know you don't like to drive in snow. So thank you for being here. It matters.